Let's work on this thumb. What do I want here? What do I want? So you would think that the inking part is the easiest part. The inking is the easiest part. No, uh, that's the wrong. That's not what I'm talking about, Tom Petty. Um, so it is really not because You have to look at these lines and you have to wonder to yourself, what did I mean? What did I mean to happen here? It looks obvious. It looks like just make the blue parts black. Just make, just paint it black. See a blue line and you want it painted black. It's really not that hard. It's not as easy as that. It's sometimes you're wondering how much blue is that? How much? How much is that blue really supposed to be? Because when, when I'm penciling this thumb, for example, that thumbnail, that, that's a pretty thick line there at the end of that thumbnail. Did I really mean for that, for all of that to be blue? A lot of times when you're uh, putting down pencil lines, you're not being that, uh, at least for me, I'm not being that careful about where I put the pencil lines because I know, ah, the inker will just figure it out. <laughs> and then when I'm putting my inker cap on, when I am the inker, I'm, I'm cursing that penciler. And when the inker and the penciler are the same person, you would think there'd be no communication necessary. So one thing that I'm excited about, so I hear tell that this new church that uh, we've been visiting, that, that we've been considering, uh, has an arts ministry, a visual arts ministry, that is, not only that, but a writer's ministry. They, they have writers who are writing stuff, writing things. And what I'm hoping, I certainly hope, that one of these writers, maybe I can help them, maybe they can help me. Uh, what I really want this book to become is an Old Testament version of Chosen. If we could make a Chosen-based, an Old Testament-based version of the Chosen before Dallas Goddard beats us to it. I keep saying Dallas Goddard. His name is Dallas Jenkins. Dallas Goddard is an Eagles football player. Tight end, Dallas Goddard, has now become a director. A writer, director, slash filmmaker. Time to hydrate. All right, uh, next, I think, should be the neck. The neck should be next. Let's start necking. No, let's not say that. Let's start drawing this. Let's change the topic of conversation, shall we? All right, I think I like that. So what I'm hoping to find is someone who's writing some kind of 
uh, historical fiction, similar to what I'm writing. Similar to my genre of, of writing. One could only hope. But if not, I was expecting to do this all by myself anyway, so I may as well continue doing it all by myself. I'm gonna do this line, connect there. So speaking of the Eagles, did anybody see that Eagles game yesterday? It's always so sad. It's always so sad for the Cowboys that they can't beat the Eagles. It's always... There are times that the Cowboys have beaten the Eagles. But then going on to the playoffs is a different thing. Recently, I'm talking about recently. You know, we've had, the Eagles have had their struggles in recent memory. And I'm not such a, I should not put, I should not uh, so easily forget about the, the 80s, the 90s, the mid 2000s, how many times we tried to get to the Super Bowl. We lost 1980, and we lost to the Raiders. I think it was 2003 when we almost got to the Super Bowl and did not make it. All right, let's see. What's going on today? What is going on today? Not only is today November 6th, 2023, I said, not only, I said, not only is today Monday, November 6th, 2023, it is also, oh, come on, it is also day for preventing the exploitation of the environment in war and armed conflict. Wow, that's... They really have to work on their naming skills. That is too many words for how am I supposed to remember that? How am I supposed to put that on a greeting card? Hey, hey, friend. Here's a card for the day of preventing the exploitation of the environment in war and armed conflict. Happy day. Yeah, uh, work on that. Will you work on it a little bit? How am I supposed to how am I supposed to celebrate a day that I can't even get out of my mouth? Don't worry about <laughs> Also, the day is for preventing the exploitation of the environment in war and conflict. Don't worry about the people. Don't worry about killing the people and the babies and the children and the the people who are 